So we're here at the WKU Smart Holstein Lab uh, launch. Uh, very, very cool program. It's awesome to see a lot of these technologies in use on a, on a commercial or research style dairy. It's cool to see the overlap of technologies and all the different ways that we can kind of implement them and to be with a bunch of other people who are really passionate about moving the industry forward through technological advances. What it is is we're basically a, a test bed uh, working uh, in a conjunction with the Holstein Association USA uh, to provide a platform to develop new technologies and to uh, perfect uh, maybe some not quite so new technologies so that when they hit the market they're going to be truly ready to go. Working with the Hosting Association has, has been great. Um, got a caring group of individuals that just want to further the industry. Well, the Smart Hosting Lab here, I think, is a unique example of how people from various companies and various sectors are working together to understand how can we use this technology, what's most effective, how can we improve the health, well-being of the cows and the quality of the milk they produce? What's really unique about it is all the new technologies. These kids get to see the newest technologies in that field right here at Western Kentucky University. And that's what I'm most excited about. This is something that's way bigger than I am, and this is something that's potentially going to impact the entire industry as a whole. As everybody kind of moves forward and the dairy industry progresses, like we are getting so much more into technology, and it should be able to be easier for farmers so that there's not this constant labor need, and technology and software is basically going to be the forefront of the dairy industry. It starts at the college, you know, and you look at one of these students in 20 years, 30 years, where we'll be, where they'll be, you know, it's, it's just a way to plant a seed and, and, and grow the technology through the education. This has been an incredible, incredibly busy and an incredibly wonderful 15 months. Um, when I think back on it, I can't really even believe uh, how this herd has changed over time. You know, we've had 14 cows high genetic cows donated to our program over this last 15 months, which I think is really wonderful. And what is really great about the registered Holsteins, we understand the genetics of the animal, and in registered animals, we know their pedigree for many generations. The ability to look at not only data that we're measuring internally or externally, but then correlating that back to genetic data specifically, and how do we, how do we look at the difference between phenotypes and genotypes. That allows us to breed better cattle and to understand all of the science that goes with doing that. I've learned that um, this has been pretty challenging, um, yet very rewarding. Uh, we're getting, getting to use a lot of technologies that most, most farms don't have access to. I think you know the dairy industry needs you know a place like this Mar Holstein Lab that can help providing those insights and evaluations of different technologies, emerging technologies, to farmers. It's not just like focusing on the production. I think the health of the cow has been like a big priority in these new companies that has been rising up. WKU in Bowling Green is the most hospitable place for any company to come. The people are nice, they are professional, and you'll have a world-class environment to test your products and gain the valuable research to make the dairy industry a better place.